Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. How can I remotely control an iPad? Solution 1. Switch control. Step 1. Ensure both devices participating in the remote access session are logged into the same Apple ID account and Wi-Fi network. Step 2. While operating the device that will remotely control the iPad, open settings. Step 3. Choose accessibility. Step 4. Set the switch control function to on. Can I remotely control my child's iPad? With family sharing turned on and your kids' accounts added, you can remotely activate screen time on their devices. On your iPhone or iPad, that can be done by going to settings, screen time greater than select your child's name greater than turn on screen time. Make sure you create a screen time passcode when asked. How can I use my iPhone as a remote control? Tap the Apple TV remote. Tap your Apple TV or Smart TV from the list. When asked, follow the on-screen instructions to enter a four-digit passcode into your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. If you have Apple TV, third generation, use your Siri remote or Apple TV remote to enter the four-digit passcode into your Apple TV. How can I mirror my iPhone to my iPad? Don't forget to connect your iPhone and iPad to the same Wi-Fi network. On your iPad, tap Receive Broadcast. Then on your iPhone, tap Broadcast Screen. Then it will find devices under the same Wi-Fi. Just tap the name of your iPad, and tap Start Broadcast to mirror your iPhone to your iPad. Can TeamViewer control iPhone? The TeamViewer remote control app for iPhone and iPad allows you to access other devices using your iOS device when on the go. Access Windows, Mac and Linux PCs. Easily access computers and servers remotely using an iPhone or iPad. Access and transfer saved documents. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.